Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rick Arder here, and you're watching Computer Tech TV. I just wanted to make a quick update on the home server build. My home storage server build, just for consistency there. And as you can see, I've gotten most of the cabling done. Didn't really come out as good as I wanted, but if you've seen my videos on this Diablo Tech Evo case, uh, you know, it's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, after wiring everything up, there's a few things that I noticed that I wanted to change, but honestly, it's good enough for now. And really, the only thing I'm missing is the case fans. I pulled them all out to get the hardware in there, so I have to rewire them up. Now, let's give you guys a little bit of a close up here. If you guys can see there. And the way I got this set up here is I got an extra set of power cable in case I ever decide to put another optical driver. If I need to test an optical drive there, I got that power right there. And then I can just run the data down here to this open SATA data uh, cable there. And um, of course, I don't really like this here. It's actually almost touching on the north bridge, but it's good enough. And then uh, someone asked me about this cable here. Why is it running all the way down here and not up to this one? Well, with the Zotac N73 value motherboard, it does not run the CPU fan at 100%. It runs it at like 800 RPM, which is not enough at all for a stock cooler. So I have it running down here, and that runs it at 100%. For some reason, I can't control it in the BIOS or with software, so... It's good enough. I routed my front panel cables there, about as good as it can get. And then I put all my cables in this uh, little black sleeving, uh, what do you call those, plastic, uh, I can't think of what you call that right off the top of my head. But yeah, I got all the cables routed back there, as I stated last time. I got my data power for the optical drive, which I still have yet to switch that into my computer. 24 pin here. Uh, I got my cables here, this one right here, the the big not uh, straight connector is for the optical drive. These two 90 degree ones here are for the uh, two hard drives I hooked up. I just have another um, 250 gigabyte hard drive here. That's at the bottom, the Seagate. That's just in there because I have nowhere else to put it. So let me turn this around. On the front it's just, uh, you know, pretty plain. And on the back as you guys all, uh, I'm sure, can remember, no room for cables, really. But I think I did a decent job. Which actually, I could probably get a little close up for you guys. Oh. So you guys go. Nothing fancy, but it works. Got uh, all of our fan cables and stuff here. I kind of twisted them around, wrapped them around these cables here to get them shortened up and everything fits exactly where it needs to. It's kind of tight getting this here because this is about as long as it's going to go because this cable here is pulled pretty tight. And then we have our front panel cables. They run down here, they go along the edge here, and then they come up out into the front. So yeah guys, that's about the layout there of everything. That's what we're looking like. Flip this around one more time. So really all I need to do in case is dusty. The room is like a dust magnet. Really all I have yet to do is install uh, the case fans. I'm probably just going to put the exhaust fan in maybe one up here. I don't know if I really need the two. I guess I could. And I actually did test the Diablotech stock Evo or Diablotech Evo stock case fans and they actually aren't bad. They push decent amount of air for one being 1500 RPM fans. They're not loud at all. If anybody would like to see that, um, a little sound test of that, uh, I can do that for you guys. Do a little mini review. And so that about wraps it up. Um, oh yeah, someone else asked me why I put my power supply in with the fan up. Well, mainly I did it because with the way this grill is here and the rubber things are in the bottom, which I ended up actually removing, 
uh, it wouldn't fit right. And this case is going to be on the floor, and there's like a quarter of an inch of room on the bottom, so the air is not, there's going to be no room to really intake air, being that it's going to sit on the carpet. And I think that's about it, guys. I actually might um, take one of the stock case fans and put it here in the five and a quarter inch bays, blowing over the CPU and the memory and the Northridge, because the Northridge on here gets really hot. Um, if I end up upgrading to a, you know, decent, you know, able to play HD video, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, uh, video card, then I will um, not really need that because the Northridge won't get all that hot, but it gets pretty hot being that it's running integrated video. But so I'll put one of the case fans here, it's got one in the front, we'll put one up on, here on top and then I'll run the other one right here, or I might just put both of them back on the top and then have another fan here, maybe one of my Cooler Master fans, just get a little extra airflow in there. So yeah guys, that's about it. Uh, let me know what you think. Next video you see, I'll have this thing all done. I might reconfigure some of the stuff. And um, yes, you know, leave a comment, rate this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys all have a great day.